Welcome everyone and thank you for joining us today uh, for the role of biomimicry in tackling biodiversity loss and public health challenges. My name is Lana Sutherland and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Tea Leaves based in Vancouver, Canada. Why is biodiversity so important? First of all, we have to come to terms with the notion of ecosystem services. Biodiversity is also fundamental in terms of health promotion. It may help us to enjoy a better mental health and improves and it's fundamental to, for our well-being. Biodiversity plays an important role regulating, for example, infectious and the risks of infectious diseases, zoonotic diseases and vector-borne diseases. The loss of potential plant or animal derived drugs or uh, diagnostics, this uh, is a critical problem that uh, we need to pay attention to there. Of all of these uh, plant varieties that are being sustained in the botanic garden movement, uh, there are many, many of them that have not yet been examined for their potential for new uh, pharmaceutical products or diagnostics change and the climate crisis will impact all of us. So the context we heard about this morning in the plenary, uh, and that is um, about one in five of the world's plant species uh, is threatened with extinction. Um, so that equates to roughly a hundred thousand plant species. There's no question um, that we uh, are in the middle of a biodiversity extinction crisis. Why does this matter? Biodiversity conservation itself, you, you can't conserve your tiger or your panda unless you're conserving plants at the base of the trophic pyramid. And my institution, um, Botanic Gardens Conservation International, is the professional association for the world's botanic gardens. Uh, and um, we have members from all over the world. And part of our role is coordinating um, those 3,000 botanic gardens to conserve as much plant diversity as possible. We can use our power to disseminate the findings of this transformational scientific research, both to the general public, but also to the scientific community. put out substantial reports authored by scientists from across the world trying to summarize every aspect of research knowledge and conservation about our plants and fungal species and these reports have turned out to be actually quite amazing things for using as an anchor point to engage with the media policy makers and the wider public to start having the sorts of conversations we need to have and it's the sort of thing which could only be done by an institution like a botanic garden, which often plays a critical and much loved role in its own national life and gives us a platform for going out and engaging beyond the community of just research scientists with the people we need to influence with the shape of our research. I would suggest to you that we can no longer afford to live in the middle of the forest. We need to move to the edge. We need to move to the transitional zone where dissimilar habitats meet. A place where interactions can be novel, unpredictable, and challenging. That is where we will find non-traditional partners to help us, to help us extend our reach which is important because broadening our audiences is the first step to new and meaningful activity. So, so my interest in, 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 in to Botanical Garden started um, about 2010 um, when um, uh, we, we basically set ourselves sort of a big challenge, um, which was to look at how um, we can provide clean drinking water. Um, and so what we did was that we basically contacted 
um, botanical gardens from many different countries and we would try to seek inspiration um, and then first of all try and understand how they collect water and then maybe um, if we could understand how they collect water maybe that would inspire us, bio-inspire us to come up with solutions which could help people. Alongside the destruction of our environments, how we're also losing out on ways of knowing and understanding. And what that does to our capacity to do what so many people are talking about today, which is the capacity to work together across diverse human and non-human systems and environments to, to really figure out how do we learn that again, to think differently. My last message is that uh, the biodiversity that requires concerted action, its protection requires all of us to stand together, join hands and develop new ways of working together, breaking down the walls of our respective disciplines.